Hello, everybody. Continuing our study of the Greg Anniversary sh uh, Shorthand Manual, we get into the reading and dictation practice. Okay. So let's go ahead and read through this. Henry Hall led our team into in the great game. It was a dreary gray day, and Len... Sorry, I had to cough there for a second. All right. And Len Allen, or but Len Allen. So let's see if I can let's just capture my cursor. Let me go ahead and set that on here so you guys can see as I go underneath each of these words. Okay. But, but Len Allen made ready to take the take the trail without delay without delay he will lead the he will lead the attack in the grain market i and he and i will meet you at the at the end of the lake at two dear sir i hear that you are going to the meeting at at helena i am i am going to um what's that would you be going uh, would you be willing to meet me at the the train at two and take me and take me to the meeting with you question mark yours truly dear sir i am I am ready to aid you at aid you to the limit in getting the linen you you getting the linen you will need. Ah, uh, that one is I can meet you in Eerie, but um, see, I can meet you in Erie by the middle of May with the data with the what was that one no, with the main with the main data uh that will not be too late will it yours truly so that was the readings from uh section 25 and all of these strokes were developed or are are listed in the uh the previous the previous sections so if any of this didn't make sense to you go back and review those those sections and just see how the strokes are being used all right so getting into section 26 we talk about uh, uh blended consonants so we have 26 by blending D and T into one long stroke, the syllables Ted, Dead, Det are expressed. So you see added, hated, rated, needed, today, and treated. So how would we write those out? Let's go ahead and pull up our annotation software here. Good old journal. Let me make sure I've got the right one. This is 27. There we go. Okay, and there we are. All right, so let me go ahead and start working on that. Oh no, 
Is it 27 or was it 26? Ah, it was 26. My apologies. All right. So 26. It is 26. There we go. That's that's more like it. Okay, 26, 26. So added one long stroke d t hated a t e d rated ray t e d needed needed today and today was how did they yeah just the a at the end today and then treated Treated. All right. So that is, you guys could see that clearly enough. Added, hated, and hated. Yes. Rated, needed, today, and treated. So let's see how that compares to what they have in the book. There we go. So you see, fairly close. Strokes are just a little bit too little bit too light so let me go ahead and close this down and so that was 26 uh, 27 is blending the M and in strokes blending the M and in strokes okay and that also will uh, that also will result in one long stroke uh, similar to similar to our T and D strokes. So let's go ahead and read what they have for us in that section. By blending M and N into one long stroke, the syllables men, mem are expressed. In addition to men, mem, this blend represents similar sounds such as men in minute and mun in money. So we have these men, many, month, money, meant, mend, minute, mimic, memory, remain, emanate, mental, mineral, and minimum. So let's go ahead and see that in action. The annotation, what is it set on? This one needs to be 27, 27. There we go. So men. Men is just one long stroke. There we go. And many is the same, but with an E at the end. So men, many, month, m, mm, n, mm, th, month. Money uh, is the same as many, so it would just depend on the context. Many. Ment is M N T. M -t. Uh, mend is M N D. M D. Minute is M N I T. Minute. Mimic is Mm. Oh. There we go. Mimic something like that. Hopefully, guys, yeah, you guys can see that. Good, excellent. Uh, memory, memory. So it's M, mm, and then R, R. Yep, memory, and then remain is remain emanate is e m m a t emanate mental is m n t -l. yes mineral is m n r o mineral r l so m n e r o mineral minimum is simply the long m n stroke e 
long mn stroke. So there are our strokes for the consonant blends. And let's see, what else do we have here? We have the frequent word, word drill. We'll probably do that tomorrow or next week. So this is our uh, frequent word drill. So we'll go through each of these uh, and just show how to write those out next time. So thank you very much for watching. Uh, this has been Greg Shorthand, and this is day 38 of a daily video uh, um, challenge, I should say, Mondays through Saturdays, right? Um, you notice I don't post on Sundays. Uh, but um, anyway, hope that this has been helpful to you in learning uh, Greg's shorthand. Um, and have a wonderful day. Bye-bye. Well,